Okay, so <clears throat> um, we want to try to find some music for this. Now, music is very important because if your music does not balance well with what you're trying to do, that's problematic. Um, we also want to try to build a soundscape. So um, I have Get Soundly open. It's free software for you guys to use. Um, but you could use any of the other asset websites or resources that I already have in Google Drive to build a soundscape. Um, what is a soundscape? A soundscape is to make, um, you're adding artificial audio to make that location sound more realistic where they are. Sometimes an echoey sound um, would be good. A little bit of reverb, that might be enough. If you're in a large space, you should not end up having, you know, very crisp, clear audio. You might have to have a little bit of reverb. Now you can add effects like that in there, but other times we might not need it. We might need to add extra stuff, like if they're in a coffee shop or they're at school, we might have to add some of those sounds to build that out. Now, audio is really important. You could have a crappy video, but if you have good audio, it's a lot better for the viewer to be able to picture that emotional intent. Okay, so just throwing some audio and not really working on it um, will almost have worse results. Okay, um, so you guys will want to look for good sounds um, and we want to then also look for some type of music that would balance out so we got a number of things in the kitchen in the office interior apartment building let's listen to that see what we got banquet hall light buzz animal dogs bark outside so we can just click we can open Get Soundly is uh, pretty cool because I could just click and select what I want and then just drag it, drag and drop it um, directly into my project, um, this file, uh, super easy. Um, there's paid version, you can do a lot with just the free. Uh, but there's also lots of stuff that I already have for you guys that you guys can do. So we want to be able to hear and see what we think. It's not much. It's almost like white noise. Okay. This type of stuff will help to cover up any differences in cuts of audio. Um, so we do want to try to find something that will sound good. That one match. Okay, maybe that first one and actually maybe this one, we could actually pair those together. So let's go ahead and we're going to get that. Minimize this. I'm going to drag this over to here. We just drop it. There it is. That's an asset. That's my room tone. Okay, now I want to add this. Again, I can add any different type of sound that I want um, and I might want to open up my window for opening my audio track okay I can add this in here let it play okay now this one That almost sounds a little bit too loud. If we were playing it again, I muted it. So that's this track right here. So we want that, but we don't want it that loud. Okay, so we can adjust the volume. Okay, that's not bad. Now, 
if I was done with my clips and I didn't need anything else, so this is where the razor tool would come in. C, I can use the playhead. I can click at the playhead and I just cut that clip right there. So now I don't need that anymore if that was the end of my clip. Now I just have this added in there. Okay, um, let's go back and let's get that other one. Oh, what's this one? Okay, I want I want this one. We're gonna add some of that. Again, we're just dragging, dropping. There's some more room tone. This is an asset. There's different room tone. C to cut. B to select. Click delete. Okay, now I want to single this out. That's the one. That's how I can recognize what it is. I'm going to want to bring the volume down too. Well then, yeah, well then, let's do it. Okay, we got a little bit of room tone. Let's add some tracks. We know that we're going to need at least a couple more audio tracks. So now I can see. I scroll down there's those empty tracks we got two audio I think the dogs next door I think that'd be good add a couple of those now I could break these up into different audio pieces there's my dogs all right, now I'm going to zoom in. Let's see. Okay, we want some random dogs barking. Okay, I want to duplicate this now. So to duplicate, I can click on it and I can click Option or Alt and it will make another one. All right, so I can drag this out and I can hear some stuff later on. Maybe I might want to kind of have it sound like they're barking, um, you know, at different people. But we are going to need to trim that one down, okay? We don't want to hear very much of it. We want it to be very subtle. It's just a soundscape. Well then, yeah, well then, listen. If you would just lock the door before you take a shower, there would be no issue. It was locked! Okay then, use the lock that's harder to pick. Are you kidding? Okay, not too bad. It's still a little bit too loud. Let's bring that down. We want distant barking. Yeah, well then. Listen. Listen. If you would just lock the door before you take a shower, there would be no issue. It was locked! Okay then, use the lock that's harder to pick. Are you kidding? I... Very subtle. We get that though. That is building a soundscape. We could add some more sounds to it. That's kind of the idea. Um, now we want to add some music. So we can go looking for stuff. All right, so this is the one that I think we're, I'm going to settle on. Uh, so we're going to do that one because that one's kind of, kind of like a dual, a dual of words. That's what we're going to do. So we'll download it. I've looked at lots and lots of songs. 
<laughs> right click. Hope. Save link it is. There we go. Okay. So we're downloading this now. Again, it's crucial that we got to put it in our folder where we did a project. So there's the bad roommate, there's the assets. You gotta make sure that you're paying attention to what licenses and stuff that you wanna use. All right, now go in here going to find that file. Again, I want to keep my stuff organized. Okay, now when we're cutting for audio and everything, notes, I was adjusting all the volume to make sure that we are not overpowering. Um, we can manually uh, edit this. Um, we can also if we come up to here and we go into the audio, we got the audio meters, essential sound, we can actually separate out what is music, sound effects, and ambience, and dialogue, and have it start to actually do volumes for it. So just so what we can see what that looks like. This whole thing, that is dialogue. All right, these, the dog, these three are ambience. All right, we don't have, um, one, two, oh, the, those dog ones. We could say that that's sound effects. And then we got our last one which is music. Okay, now we could choose with this, we could choose to duck with um, dialogue. And then generate keyframes and that will um, move all the stuff. We can also um, tone this down. We can um, remix this so we could take this and we could remix it to a specific length that's one way to do it the other way that we could do this because we have this whole track is that we could do remix tool right here and play around with this now this doesn't always do what you want let's see what we get well, then. Okay, let's look at that. So let's going to zoom in. We're starting to run out of space. But what I want to show on here is, see all these little things right here? This is where it took the original clip and it searched and it found where those would be the best cuts to try to make it almost not noticeable. Which isn't actually too bad of a cut. Now, we're only doing 15 seconds, so it really crunched it. Um, but we could do this. We can also adjust our volume here. You're the worst. 
Well then. Yeah. Well then. Listen. If you would just lock the door. Now we also want to make sure that we're never really going above. You don't ever want to make it unclear to hear the speaker's audio. Okay, so we can adjust the volume. We can add, um, if we click on the pen tool, we can click specific points and adjust the volume ourselves like this. And that's what would happen. Yeah, well then, listen, if you would just look. Okay. Um, or we can do what I was doing here. So um, with this clip right here, we we could play around with remixing it, which was what we did. We can also, you know, add um, making sure that it's balanced so it's not overly loud. So you don't have something that's peeking out in there, but then we can duck against it and we could generate keyframes for it. So this will run through, and anything that feels like it's too loud. Well then, yeah, well then. If you would just lock the door before you take a shower, there would be no issue. It was locked! Okay then. Use a lot of harder to pick. Are you kidding? I see there's... You are the worst roommate ever! ...where they ducked. Okay. We can also play around with the sensitivity of how much is going to duck, how much we want it to duck, how we got to fade it. Um, you have a lot of controls and what you can play around with. Um, you could do all kinds of things on this to control uh, what you're doing with the music so it's not overpowering your audio. Okay, so that's it for this video on building a soundscape, adding uh, music to it to kind of finalize your clip. All right, good luck. Have fun.